Howdy everyone, I am Megan and we are gonna go over some tips on how to get your free hip to handstand. This is such a great move because it looks really cool when you do it in your routine and it's almost like being on a roller coaster or something. It's like a little ride. So I'm gonna show you uh, what one looks like. So the first thing you wanna make sure you have, of course, is a cast handstand. Whoa, I kinda see stars slightly from that. Oh my gosh. Cast handstand, uh, baby free hip, okay? Of course, a back hip circle. So let me show you the mini free hip. You wanna make sure you cast to like at least horizontal, okay? Hold your shoulders over the bar, then you're gonna drop back, squeezing that butt. And almost think about your thighs coming back to the bar, not your hips, because then you would be doing a back hip circle. Okay, so I'm gonna do a nice big cast, stay tight. Squeeze your muscles like you can't believe how hard you're squeezing them. Okay, shoulders forward. Okay, so it's just a super small version of the big version. Okay, you keep doing a million and a million, you get higher and higher with that cast. And before you know it, hey, you're gonna be, you know, all, all the way from handstand, and you're gonna be going for it. Now, one of the most important things is not to throw your head back. Oh my goodness, seriously, please don't do this. You wanna keep that head straight, because as soon as you throw your head back, this is what's gonna happen. Ooh, I'm scared to throw my head back. Ooh. Okay, and you're just going to fall flat on the ground, you're going to arch back, you're going to fall down and look silly. <laughs> so keep that head straight. Oh, you want to do a million of these with your coach spotting, of course. And then once your coach gives you the A-OK, -okay, well, you should be on your way. Oh my gosh, what a dork, huh? So we're getting ready to do the free hip handstand. So you're in your handstand, you're going to lean your shoulders forward. And you want to think about not bending in your hips. I see a lot of people do that. So as they go down, their hips kind of go like this. No, you want to squeeze that tushy. Squeeze it so hard as you're falling forward, okay? So you want to keep the shoulders over, the, over your hands and your handstand, and then you're gonna lean forward in a plunge, right? And then you're gonna drop back so fast, okay? With your ribs in. Drop back super, 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 super fast. If this is even one slight of an arch, if I see just, it's like some people that do that kind of break dancing stuff, um, don't do any of that. Just keep this in. Because once you arch, forget it. You, it's over with, okay? Then as you're dropping back, your shoulders are really pushed out. I forgot to say that. Like this. So pushed out that you can't even believe it. Then once you get about, I'd say upside down, maybe here, pretend I'm holding onto the bar and it's hard, okay? You are going to, you are gonna open your shoulders so fast that you cannot believe how fast they're opening. Okay, like you're throwing them. Uh, the faster you open those shoulders and not stick the head out, of course, and shoot your toes straight up, then the, hey, then you're gonna get that free up to handstand. So you can do a lot of back extension roll to handstands, because it's kind of the same motion. I'm sure you all know what a back extension roll is. I'll show you one just in case. And I have a video on it too, if you wanna check it out. Okay, so watch my arms open. You see how they did that? Bam! Same situation. And you also want to do a million, gazillion, trillion handstand levers. I'm going to do baby ones by myself so you can kind of get the idea. So squeeze everything. You're going to lever and back up. You want to do it on the floor bar 
and have your coach spot you, and I would do about 10 of those, and you want to get as low as you can. Don't have them help you too much, because you got to get these shoulders strong. You want to do a lot of reverse hollow body holds, tons and tons of ab work, okay? Hollow body rocks, V-ups, um, Superman holds, dun, 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 dun. all sorts of strength, and as many handstands as you can handle. Really just remember to squeeze all around. Be a squeezer all around, please. So I think that's all we really need to know for your free hip handstand. There you have it. Okay, time for the end of the workout trick. I'm just gonna do two quick press handstands here because you need to work on those two to get your free hip. The stronger you can get those shoulders, I'm telling you. Oh, it's kind of weird with the grips on, but I'll give it a go. Oh. Ooh. See, I can feel my stomach working and my shoulders. Excellent. Ta-da! Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you all get your free hip handstand soon. Okay, check out my other workouts and lessons if you want. See you around. Bye.